so yesterday, one of my students uh, from our collab class um, sent me this video and was sort of like, what's going on here? Um, and the truth is, I, I don't really know. Um, so <laughs> this is a video of um, the flesh regressions uh, notebook, which I previously demoed here. Um, and it's using a model that I trained on runway. Um, it was transfer learned off of FFHQ, which is obviously a face model. Um, but I've probably used that model 50 times, I mean, in many, many different circumstances, and uh, I've never seen faces in it before. Um, so I, I, what's going on here? So I think there's a couple things that could be happening here. The first is that obviously, like, um, we've talked a little bit about, like, that we don't really know how transfer learning works. Or, like, we understand how it works in that um, the model has built up a lot of different um, knowledge already, and then we're sort of, like, showing it a new data set, and it trains on top of that old data set. And the assumption is that, like, you know, you see in the first couple, like, steps or whatever that um, the faces are sort of turning into geometry in this case. Um, and But we've never really seen faces in it before. So, um, and of course, I've run this through different, uh, like, translations, through network bending. I've generated a lot of images from it using various truncation levels. Um, and I've never seen these these faces show up in it before. Um, so Adao, who is one of the uh, folks who wrote the script, um, and I were talking a little, a little bit about this, and like my assumption is that somewhere deep in the network, um, there are still representations of faces, right? And um, actually, the latest um, StyleGAN two paper kind of also implies that that like if you transfer learn, um, you actually have a better FID score uh, than training from scratch. Um, I assume that part of that is because some of this stuff is still remembered in the network. Um, now the problem is like you rarely, very rarely see this. So I think what's happening here, and the flesh digressions, um, what it does is it manipulates the constant layer, which is that very first layer um, in uh, StyleGAN. And then it also um, messes with the, uh, the Z representation or the style layer. Um, and doing those two in combination, what sort of happens is that you show um, lots of different vectors that you might not normally see um, to the network, right? So like that constant layer especially being changed is probably showing some funky stuff to this model that's, that it very, 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 very rarely sees. So what it's probably actually doing is it's probably just, it's finding stuff that was deep in that, in that trained from scratch layer. Um, so there's still faces in it. Um, but regardless, it's pretty creepy. And like, it's kind of really interesting that you can find um, some of your earlier like network still in this train network that's transferred from. Um, so I think what's going on here is uh, the settings for this were actually set to whatever the default in my notebook were, which were like a very extreme setting. So it's a setting of 10 in the small layer, or in the smallest radius, and then I think something like 1,000 in the larger radius. And I think the small radius um, affects, I don't actually know which one it works. I have to look at it. But um, I think having those extreme bounds means that we're showing some really like funky stuff to the network um, as it's actually producing these images. So I think that is causing this issue of like these eyeballs and semi faces appearing in this image. Um, but I still think it's really, really interesting because I have yet to see anyone talk about this and yet to see anyone else find these sort of like hidden artifacts from a, from a transferred layer. So um, there's probably something here worth exploring. And I think what I would probably do with next is actually like, um, as we generate these images, I might actually dump out what the vectors are um, that it's generating from, because I think it would be helpful to sort of see like, you know, um, this is not my area of, area of expertise, but if we could find like what are the bounds of where these sort of like hidden weird shapes are um, in the network, and then maybe we could almost exploit this going forward, right? We could almost say um, as we transfer learn from another thing, like we could actually find the regions where you're actually in the mix of these things. And I'm not sure it's actually going to work that well. I think like part of what's working well here is that like faces are so different than this flat geometric shapes you're already seeing. Um, so I just think there's like some, but there's some really, really interesting things going on here that I think are worth exploring more. So um, I've generated like a like hundred more of these videos after seeing Peter um, sort of make this video. Uh, and I've sort of started exploring and sort of seeing like, what can we get out of these things? And what's really cool is you can get these faces to pop up in various places. So um, more, to, more to come from this, but I'm, I'm really excited by seeing this. And um, I'm really happy that Peter shared this with me because I think I probably saw I actually went back through some of my videos and I found, sound, saw like very tiny little details of what could be now seen as eyes, 
but at the time I thought they were just like little artifacts from you know these, these images that are being produced so um, I'm glad that he found it and this is why I love having my students involved in, in all this work because we're finding all these cool things and um, even if I don't know how to produce it then we can figure out how to maybe make more of them and, and start to understand what's really going on um, so this is really awesome and this is exactly why I love having um, folks in my class to just play with things and um, you know test all these models out uh, in a way that most people haven't before so um, just thought I'd add a little note here and say this is really really cool and I'm um, really excited to see what we what else we can do with this so um, thanks